Welcome back to the studio. Casey Ashmore here. We're talking about inventory and appraisement as it relates to original divorces, Texas family law. And one of the things that always comes up in a family law case is what is separate property? Do you own any? Well, if you do, one thing you have to know is that you have to specifically ask that it be confirmed as your separate property. And real life example of why that's so critical, about six or seven years ago, set for jury trial in a county out in west, the, the heading west, western part of the state. And my client, had no separate property estate, right? They'd been married for a number of years. They had, they had some property they accumulated together. There was some contribution by her to his separate property estate. But this spouse, this husband, had a significant separate property estate. Had a couple of collector's cars, had a home that he owned before the marriage paid off home paid off completely separate property paid off home two classic cars and my opponent had not specifically asked for the confirmation of separate property and if we had put 12 jurors in the box that could have been a life changer for that client because that means that the jury would have only been able to consider and the judge would have only been able to consider that that property fell under the presumption that it was community property. So separate property is a big deal. You gotta think about all your little gifts, all your inheritances, all the things that you may have had. You had some old motorcycle, man. You got a 1974 Harley Davidson Superglide that you've had for forever. You know, that's your separate property. Your wife came into the marriage with her Lexus hardtop convertible and y'all have always kept it. That's her separate property, right? Jewelry from grandmother, heirlooms, things like that, that, that existed, you know, a copy of the Gutenberg Bible that great, great, great grandpa gave you on the Chisholm Trail, whatever it is, right? That stuff's your separate property and you've got to specifically ask that it be confirmed. So the other thing about specific property, these are the things I hope I'm hitting on, right? It's a property accumulated or possessed or purchased before the marriage, right? And then there's some inception of title things for property that is specific to that, like real property, like land, like automobiles, right? So if it was purchased before the marriage, there's there in itself is evidence of the inception of title, which means you've got an argument that it's completely separate property and it should be confirmed as your separate property. So you must disclose it in your inventory and you must specifically ask in your pleadings that your separate property be confirmed, right? Now, other items that are separate property are things that were gifted to you or inherited to you right? You received as an inheritance, right? $11,000 from great grandpa, $20,000 from great grandma, a farm in Iowa from great grandma, whatever it may be, right? Daddy's hunting rifle. Those items are separate property if they're gifts or inheritances. And then likewise, any property that your, your spouse received during the marriage that was a gift or an inheritance, right? That's that spouse's separate property. So these are things that need to be included in that inventory. So other things that you need to consider are, let's talk about that $11,000 that grandma gave you during your, you know, just a gift from grandma. Love you, you're a great grandson. Here's 11K. Then you use that money, you use that money to buy an asset, right? You use that separate property money to buy some asset 
you have an issue where you need to trace that money, right? Because it, it leads to some either claim that the separate property estate needs to be reimbursed, or let's say it's $111,000 and you decide to buy an investment property with it, right? You're gonna buy a fixer upper out in Van Zandt County, Texas. For $111, you can pay cash for a building and get it fixed up and put a renter in there. And then that whole thing becomes traceable to the separate property asset. And then that asset, that, that can be traced back to the income from the gift or the inheritance and that needs to be reimbursed. So you need to list that, especially if it was if it was solely purchased or funded with that separate property inheritance from either spouse, right? So these are the things that need to be traced back to their source and then a claim can be made on them to either reimburse or confirm that investment. The example I was using, rental home as something that needs to be coming back into the other spouses or whoever spouse made that investment, separate property estate, right? So the community basically reimburses or it just gets carved out completely, however it needs to be done. Community property, remember, presumption is, presumption is, what is a presumption? It's similar to an assumption, right? That everything, think about a pie chart, everything in the pie chart is on its face community assets and that it's the job of the spouse who is making the separate property claim to slice out those pieces of the pie to rebut to challenge that presumption that everything in the pie is community property you got to carve those slices out right you know is that a is that a quarter of the pie is it a third is it just a little small slice right? Is it a $11,000 slice or is it a $111,000 slice? So things to keep in mind, they're critical. This is only comes up in an original divorce proceeding. And more importantly, if you don't ask for it, you cannot get it because everything falls under the presumption. So back to that big pie, right? That big pie chart, right? That all is community property unless you ask for specifically and then start going through and proving by tracing, by, by inception of title evidence, things of that nature. The assets are not community assets. They are, in fact, separate property assets. More to come on inventories and appraisements. I hope you are getting some valuable information out of this. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please leave me questions or comments. Love doing these for you. Want to hear from you. Respond. I'll respond to you on any social media video platform you see this message on. Thanks again so much, and we'll see you on the next.